Well, look, we're concentrated on the evacuation effort for British nationals and those Afghan nationals who have served the United Kingdom so loyally. I can tell you that in the early hours of this morning, we're going to see 150 British nationals arriving back um, in the UK. Uh, over the last week, we've delivered 289 uh, uh, Afghan nationals who have worked for the British government um, in Afghanistan over the years. And in the days that come, there'll be a further 350 um, of both British nationals and Afghan nationals uh, arriving. So we've been focused on that effort. On top of that, there is the wider international effort. You'll have heard the UK and others in the UN Security Council today. We're using our G7 presidency to make very clear to the Taliban that we will hold them to account for their commitment and never to allow Afghanistan to be used as a base for terror. Uh, to hold a more inclusive government and to protect the most essential human rights, including respecting the rights of women. Well, ultimately, through um, working with our partners, through everything from uh, the sanctions that we can apply uh, to the uh, odour that we will uh, hold uh, back uh, pending uh, reform and a more inclusive government, I think there are levers. And we know from the political commission of the Taliban in Doha that they want to, uh, uh, they've made a series of commitments, a series of undertakings, and I think is right for the UK, but also critically working with our partners that they are held to the undertakings that they've made. Well, everyone I think has been surprised by the scale and the pace at which the Taliban have taken over. Uh, in Afghanistan uh, and uh, that's a, a, a lesson that we've all got to, to, to learn from um, but the truth is what matters right now is focusing on getting British nationals out, getting out those who have so loyally served the UK and making sure that the gains that we've made over 20 years are not lost. Let's remember we haven't had a terrorist attack on the UK from Afghanistan in 20 years. Because of UK aid, uh, 10 million more children have been in education. Because of UK efforts with others, 8 million more landmines have been cleared. So we have a record uh, that we should uh, not overlook. Of course, the priority now is to make sure that the gains aren't lost because of the Taliban taking control. We've worked very hard. A huge amounts of British taxpayers' money has gone in uh, to clearing landmines, to getting children into education, to, to bringing down the uh, mat uh, maternal mortality rate, uh, which has almost halved since 2001. Those are all gains that have been made. Of course, uh, the situation on the ground uh, and the Taliban takeover is a new reality. Uh, it is not what we wanted, uh, but we have to deal with the new reality. We're making it clear with our partners, with all the means at our disposal, that we will hold the Taliban to account to its commitments to have a new start in Afghanistan. It's clearly not going to be uh, to the values that the UK, the, the West, uh, the European Union, the Americans uh, believe in. Uh, but we can have a moderating influence and I think it's important we use all of the policy tools at our disposal working with our partners to try and achieve that.